I think there's a bat in the umbrella. Maybe there's nothing in there. I'm taking photos of my new hoodies and t-shirts and crewnecks. And I was inside trying to figure out lighting and angles. And then I saw the, the, the umbrella moving. And I thought mother nature had a sweet little surprise for me. But honestly, it's probably better that there's no bat in there because what would I do if there was a bat in there? If you guys saw the things I do to get the product shots, like the angles, the setups, you'd be surprised I haven't broken my neck by now. This is the crew neck design. I'm offering it in like an off black, a green. I think that's kind of like, a, it reminds me of concrete brown and then like a cream off white color. And this is where the photo shoot, shoot begins. Yeah, I'm just taking a little video. shoot just ended <laughs> now it's time to edit the pictures and make dinner um but if you guys want to check out any of the crew necks hoodies or t-shirts that i showed you briefly throughout this video um they are on my website also while i have you here i kind of want to update you on my life a little bit <sighs> not really on my life just on one thing in my life in particular my diet veganism and that that's what I want to talk about. Um, I've gotten a few questions on a couple videos and on Instagram and TikTok and things like that asking if I'm still vegan because I had been pretty open about, I've always been open about just like what I'm into and what I am and what I do on social media. So you guys know I was vegan for, I just, I hit the six year mark right on the dot and then I started eating eggs and then about three months after I started eating eggs, I started eating fish. So this was also over a year ago. I haven't been vegan for over a year, but I wasn't really, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't want to talk about it yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to stick to eating fish and eggs. I was kind of just testing that out, seeing how my body was going to react to something new. And also, honestly, I had watched a couple of people on YouTube film videos about why they're not vegan anymore and they got so much hate and I I just didn't want to deal with that but I think I also felt that way because I wasn't exactly sure about my decision but now that I feel very confident and sure about my decision if I receive hate from this that would be kind of odd because it's my body and what I'm doing for myself and for the planet is healthy. My biggest concern was like people saying, oh, you don't care about the animals anymore or you're killing the animals now. So I guess before I even go into why I started questioning transitioning out of veganism, I'll just start off by saying how I'm sourcing my food just to get that out of the way. I have friends and neighbors and just people that I know here in North Carolina that I get eggs from for free, thank God, because eggs are fucking expensive, but they have chickens and chickens make a shit ton of eggs every single day. They're already laying the eggs, you know what I mean? So it's not like they're being tortured. They're not being crammed in these small spaces because these are just happy, healthy chickens roaming around my friends' properties. So um, I feel really good about eating those. And then, like I said, a couple months after I started eating those, I started eating fish. And this is what happened. I went to the Dominican Republic for my 25th birthday, and it was the night before my birthday. And I've never ate fish before in my life. And my boyfriend ordered a plate for two, intending to eat it all by himself because... That's the way he is, but a plate for two of all this seafood, like octopus, shrimp, a ton of different types of fish. And as soon as that plate came out, I looked at it, I was like, I am not about to turn 25 and say I've never ate fish. Also, all that fish had been caught right there that day, so I felt comfortable trying it. And yeah, that's when I started eating fish. And since then, I stick to wild caught fish. Now I'll tell you why I started questioning my diet because I was really fulfilled being vegan, but the first like three years that I was vegan, I didn't eat unhealthy, but I didn't really pay attention to like 
added sugar, processed food, stuff like that. I was just eating what was on the shelves, what was labeled organic, but still had all these horrible ingredients and like i said that was like the first three years trying to eat as healthy as i could without paying too much attention honestly and then the last three years of my veganism that's when i started paying attention and i cut out all processed sugar all the bad shit or at least as much bad shit as i could think of and i lost a lot of weight not intentionally i didn't really want to lose the weight but i think my body was just detoxing from all that crap and processed food so i, I lost about 15 pounds and I started to feel... Oh, I ran out of space on my SD card. Where was I? Um, I lost weight because, like I said, I felt like my body was just detoxing. When you think about how much sugar is added in stuff, and not even just the sugar, but the processed oils and all of that, I personally believe it takes a while for your body to, like, break those things down. So I think, I think it's just, like, sitting inside of us. So as soon as I stopped eating those things, within a couple of weeks, months, my body just like, like I said, detox and I lost about 15 pounds. I started to feel a little bit insecure about it. Uh, people in my family, people on social media started making comments on my weight and that, not that they were trying to make me feel bad, but it did. And so I was, tr I was looking up everything of how I can gain healthy fat, healthy weight while being vegan and I just, Felt like I couldn't eat enough to get a few extra pounds back on. So I felt like, oh, hi, Rico. <laughs> like, um, hi, buddy. I felt like eggs, whoa, <laughs> eggs and fish, both high in healthy fat and protein, just seemed like a no brainer to me to add those into my diet. And so that's what I did. Um, changes that I have felt. In the beginning, I was curious if my energy levels would increase because people always say, when you're vegan, you don't have that much energy because you're not getting enough protein. Personally, I think I was eating very healthy as a vegan, but I'm cold. So if you hear me shivering, it's because it's freezing out here. Um, I didn't really notice a big difference in my energy. In the beginning, I didn't even gain the weight back as like I thought I would, to be honest. So I was like, am I eating this for nothing? But then I started to really enjoy the food, so I continued to eat it, the eggs and the fish. Now that it's been a little over a year, I've gained a couple of pounds back, but I don't know if I blame that solely on what I've included into my diet now, or if I've just been eating more. But yeah, I'm just experimenting with my diet. Nothing was ever like a permanent thing for me. I've always been about customizing this human experience and honoring what it is that you desire, feel, and need in each chapter of your life. So, I'm gonna go inside because it's really fucking cold. If you guys wanna check out the crewnecks and the hoodies, links in my description. Also, I'm planning on doing um like a sobriety update because I haven't done one of those in a, while, in a while, and I'd like to talk to you guys about some shit that's been going on. So if that would be interesting to you guys, let me know. And yeah, hope you have a good night, a good day, and I'll see you in my next video.